What is up everyone, it's CMG here. So, for today's video, I want to have a quick discussion about something I unintentionally found while I was scouring through the new Overwatch 2 promotional images following the long-awaited beta reveal that we know now is coming out in late April. Now, I know that Stylosa has probably made a video dedicated to this already, and I don't know if anybody else has spotted it, but what the heck, I'm about to make a video on this anyway because I'm literally sitting here with absolutely nothing else to make for an Overwatch video. <laughs> yeah, seriously, sad times. So before I go ahead and do this, I want to remind you all once again, if you like this idea for a video and you want to see more in the future, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. If you've done it already, thank you so much. I highly appreciate you. Alright, so while I was taking a look at some of the new promotional Overwatch 2 images that had recently been shown, there were showcases of the four new maps that were coming to the game. We have Circuit Royale, Midtown, New Queen Street, and Coliseo. Now, while I was taking a look at some of these images, something caught my attention on one of them in particular, and it was one of the images showcasing Coliseo. Now, I'd like us to take a look at the following image. Now, we can see quite a lot of things in the foreground straight away. We can clearly see that this, I believe, is the first incarnation of Hanzo's appearance in Overwatch 2. He looks to me here that he's a bit older, which, to be honest, kind of makes sense when you think that Overwatch 2 is a sequel. It's preceding the lore, so everyone is a bit older, you know. You can also see as well that the map is definitely going to be a push map, which uh, Overwatch 2 says this is the brand new game mode. And you can also see Genji on the left there, and there's also an older looking Reinhardt putting up a shield. But there's something else in this image, isn't there? Take a look at this. Now, could we be seeing some sort of leak here? Have Blizzard done this on purpose? I mean, they have done this so many times in the past where, you know, they post an image, and that image in question leaks something like a character in the background that isn't a main focus, but, you know, us fans of Overwatch, we end up spotting it, and then we constantly speculate. So, who is this guy? Well, it clearly says that his name is Magnus, or Magnus, uh, at the bottom of what he's standing on. Now, when I think of the name Magnus, I clearly think that he could be Swedish. Now, we already got a character that's Swedish in the game, haven't we? You know, Brigida. So, it got me thinking about this character a little bit. Now, the first thing I thought was, he looks way too much like Reinhardt. Because, you know, he's got a helmet, he's got armor, he's got a big weapon. Now, he doesn't really necessarily need to have a shield. But the thing is, he just looks way too similar to Reinhardt for me to think, yeah, he, he's definitely uh, a new hero. Now, the weapon, of course, he could be a melee DPS. Now, we don't really technically have a melee DPS in the game. I mean, Doomfist can argue about that because he's definitely some kind of melee hero. But Doomfist is more mobile. You know, he can go around, he can jump, he can use his fist to get to things a lot quicker. Now, imagine if we had a DPS character that didn't have a weapon like a, a gun or anything like that, and he had like a melee weapon, but he wasn't as mobile as Doomfist, and he had a lot of armor, and he has some kind of more of a durability to him. It could be this character, you never know. Now, Genji has a sword, and he's a DPS character, and again, like I was talking about with Doomfist, he's more mobile, he can get to things really quickly. He probably won't be able to get to places quicker, but he hasn't got a gun, and he's got a blade weapon. Now then, what about his backstory? Could he be some kind of champion in Colosseo? Does Colosseo have some kind of lore attached to it? Is Magnus a relative of Brigida? I don't know, because when you think about it, Brigida, she's got armor, right? She's got a, you know, she's able to fix things, she can able to build her own things, and armor. I mean, let's be honest, she was responsible for building Reinhardt's armor. So, what if Magnus was some kind of, like, long-lost brother of Brigida, who, again, had some connections, and the armor that you can see here has been built by Brigida, and, uh, you know, he's some kind of champion that's been able to do things in Colosseo. Maybe they love him, maybe they hate him. It's a very, very interesting kind of character that we need to sort of look at in a bit more depth. Maybe he's a hero, maybe he's not. Maybe he's just some guy that Overwatch 2 are just showcasing on the map and he never ever becomes a hero, but it's something, right? It's something to do a video on, right? So yeah, if you are watching this video, let me know what you think about this character. I mean, I've contemplated whether or not he could be some kind of, 
DPS character. I mean, he maybe he could be a tank. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, we do not have a melee character that's a DPS, but is less mobile. Because Doomfist and Genji are both melee characters. Well, technically, Genji isn't because he throws Shoryukens. But there isn't a dedicated melee character that only focuses on a blade weapon and nothing else. So, example, he doesn't really shoot anything. When you think of Doomfist, what does he do? He shoots something out of his other arm. You know, as opposed to his his main punching arm. He's got like a, a, a shotgun kind of arm. With Genji, he throws Shoryukens. But with this character, maybe he just focuses solely on a melee weapon and nothing else. A bit similar to Reinhardt. A bit similar to Brigida. I've got a feeling, because when you think about it, Reinhardt is a melee guy. Brigida is a melee person. Could Magnus be the melee character in the DPS section? And they're all related in some way. Because of course, you know, when you think about it, Brigida is Reinhardt's squire. Magnus is definitely a Swedish name. Could he be Swedish? Could he be like a Swedish champion in Colosseo? Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's just some really interesting thoughts about what this guy could be. And I'm, 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 really, I'm really excited. You know, since the whole drop of the Overwatch 2 beta, it's got a lot of people talking about the game again. And I'm absolutely thankful that this is the case now. Because um, we need this. We need to start talking about Overwatch again. And we need to start, you know, looking towards the future. Because, you know, to be honest with you, in terms of Overwatch 2, it's been horrific. It really has. There's been not much to talk about. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it's been very, very hard to think about making videos for this game. So what do you think in the comment section down below? Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Remember, guys, if you like this idea for a video and you want to see more in the future, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can also check me out on all of my other social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and also my TikTok. Thank you very much for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we are all human beings. I've been CMG as always, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.